Hi folks and welcome back to some more Ultimate General Civil War. Today we're going to fight the Battle of Second Bull Run, or Battle of Second Manassas as the South referred to it. It's the 28th of August 1862, let's jump in. We've got some new recruits in the army, we've got three corps now, although third corps doesn't really count, it's only got one division. But I was scraping up the bottom of the armory to get every last musket and old cannon in to, to be equipped, so we'll see what they can do. So, what we've got, following the retreat, sorry, following the recent events of Peninsula Campaign, a portion of our forces initiated a wide flanking manoeuvre and raided the Union Supply Depot at Manassas Junction, which we did quite successfully in the last battle. Pope's line of communications with Washington was threatened and he had to abandon his defensive line at the Rappahannock River. We withdrew a few miles to the northwest and took up a defensive position on Stony Ridge, with the hope to lure Pope into a trap. The rest of our army had left Richmond almost undefended to reinforce us and attack the unsuspecting Union army. This was actually a fantastic Confederate victory. Jackson's Corps did hold an old abandoned, an, oh, sorry, an unfinished railroad line. And Pope's army did try to attack it head on. And the rest of the uh, Confederate forces turned up, I think on day two, outflanked them and drove them from the field. So it was quite a successful battle. Let's get all our reinforcements coming in here. It's going to be this attack which wins us the day. So we've got First Corps, the veterans out holding the line after survive for i think one day let's see how we do our raid to the union's massive supply depot at manassas junction was a success this huge blow to their rear dislodged the army of virginia from the defensive lines along the rappahannock river we now move northwest challenging them to follow us this is a nice looking battlefield look at all this open terrain it's good for us to attack over on day two and we've got some solid defensive lines up here. General Pope, the new commander of the Army of Virginia, is isolated. This is a good location to set up a trap and attack him with all of our forces before he's reinforced by McClellan, who at this point, I think, was still on the peninsula, but right down at the tip of it, withdrawing his forces. We took a big risk when we left Richmond undefended, but, as we expected, McClellan did not attempt any offensive manoeuvres on the peninsula. The rest of our army will arrive tomorrow and deal a flanking attack to the unsuspecting Yankees. Currently, General Pope assembles his army and all reinforcements near Henry Hill. Henry Hill, which you'll recognise the name of from the first Battle of Bull Run in 1861. He will most likely withdraw to Washington to the northeast unless we do something about it. This could be a, a tough battle, I think. Diversionary attack would probably convince him to stay in the area and fight. Okay, so this is, this is what we're doing then. So it looks like the division of Rufus King is heading to join Pope's main army through the small town of Groveton. It's time to draw their attention. So we actually start with an offensive fight just to get their attention. Okay. We're dispatching some of our forces forward and then we should attempt to defend Brawner's farm. General, it is advised not to risk losing many men or artillery in this engagement. That's always good advice. Night is falling. Our main purpose is to reveal our position and lure Pope's army into attacking us tomorrow. So we need our army at the ready for this defensive battle. All right, we've got six brigades. We will take the rifled artillery, I think. And we'll, we're going to actually, let's, let's put some fresh infantry in. The McCrackens. Yeah, there's, there's enough of those. Okay, so we, we've, got, we've got six good brigades here. What's the objective? Is it just to hold this or is it literally to, to get on the offensive here? Uh, we will put two brigades on holding this wood. And then we've got three brigades, which I think are probably going to go for this town. Artillery, which we'll, we'll position over here. Okay, start the battle and pause. Oh, God, they're just there? <laughs> oh, my God. I did not expect that. That's, that's, right. That's unusually close. Run in. Just get firing. Try and knock out the, the cannons quick. Uh, yeah, guys, we've been kind of caught on the hop a little bit here. Skirmishes forwards. See if we can come around and go that way. There might be something in there, so I need to be a little bit careful here. We're going on the run, but we'll put skirmishes out. And we're going to make sure there might be something down there in front of us, actually. So let's just um, let's just keep the McCrackens in reserve until I know what's going on here. Wow. Okay. So I got I got myself a bit of a surprise there. They're moving forwards. Flanked. Wait. 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 On on the double. <laughs> 
just hold your position. Blocked. Wow, Hatch's men are just making a mad, desperate charge. They've left that artillery completely undefended. We're going for it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Right, let's draw a defensive line across there with skirmishes out in front just to keep an eye on things. This was a, an oddity. The Carolines are going in. Those uh, Hatches men are routing Barge's brigade. Holding the flank over there solidly. Oh, we've got flanking fire. Let's let's keep these guys occupied down here. And where's our glorious leader? Oh, the Carolians, they're wavering, they're wavering. It's okay. Well I think are they are they going in? No, they're not. This is turning into a slaughter over there. We are falling back. We've taken a load of canister in the face. We've, we've had it. Can I, I need to draw a line across there. We're, we're going to charge that battery one way or the other. We're not routing anymore. We're just wavering. But that's probably going to do it. I can't order them in. I could, order, I could probably order... No, I don't think I can order them back either. Well, the Ozark volunteers are going to do what the Carolines could not. We're sending them in. Right, let's get some firepower onto the skirmishers. Actually, I don't really want to be fighting skirmishers. I'll tell you what, see if I can get that on the flank. Did we go in? The Ozarks have gone in. Excellent. They should be able to deal with that quite nicely. That brigade's been smashed, so that's excellent. Shame that the Carolians lost so many, but uh, that what that is the risk with offensive, aggressive actions. Ozarks have done the job, though. Currently chasing off some skirmishes down there. All right, Baji's men. Oh, we've met some more skirmishes over here. That's that's unfortunate. We'll chase them out the town. If only I had some cavalry. Right, we've got two brigades in the woods down there. Okay, we do, I don't think we need to get too involved here. If they wish to attack us, we'll just hold the woods. I think that's, that's the best bet. Uh, let's get into there. Screw it, charge them. Charge them, boys. Barges, man. We're going to take some fire, some casualties from the skirmishes here, I think. Right, okay. We've driven them away. That's that's all we needed to do. So I'm quite, quite content with that. We just occupied the town. And we've got a better position, basically. Bring the artillery down. Patrick's brigade is on our right. Okay. Oh, there's something up. What the hell is up there? You need to fall back. They're shooting at something up there. It's skirmishes. Okay. Barge's men are just going to come charging over. So the Ozark should be okay now. The rear's being flanked. Does that mean there's some scumbags in there? Rear flanked. There's someone that we can't see in there, isn't there? Right, we'll send the Carolians in. Let's just get the artillery shooting on this wood. There's something in here causing me some bother. Move the supplies closer to the to the infantry down here. 
Well, the McCrackens have got someone charging at them. I don't think it's going to be a problem. See if we can get another volley off here. Although they're coming through the woods, so Gibson's men are going to have a little bit of cover there. Ah, not quite so heroic now. <laughs> We've gone from heroic down to eager, down to confidence. Currently rethinking their life choices, I, I, I suspect. There we go. We've seen the enemy at the other side. We just need to push them out. Well, I guess we can do this. I think the Florida Seminoles are hopefully doing some good work there. I'm just going to put you on the edge of the woods here. Oh, not you, not, not, no, not you, no, 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 not you. <laughs> you. Right, this might get a little bit iffy. We're going to have to hold on for the seven minutes. And the Krakens are falling back. We've just been hit with too many. With too much all at once. I see. I see what's happened. I see what's happened. Well, we'll concentrate the firepower over there. Pesky skirmishers. I wonder if I should advance the Ozarks. No, we won't. We'll stay, we'll stay holding the town. I don't think this is going to be a problem. Barge's Brigade have had to double time it all the way across the field, so they're quite exhausted. But I think we're going to be okay here. I've taken a few more casualties than I really wanted to. I'm just going to canister fire those skirmishers out the way if we can. Come on, load those cannons. Are we in range? We might just be in range. I think they're probably in a class that's just out of range for canister. Nope, that, is that canister? I think that is. It's driven them off anyway. And the Krakens, have, uh, they're rallying. Those boys are doing good. One minute to go. Patrick's brigade coming in. Let's focus some firepower in this direction. I've got two brigades over here playing with little skirmishes. This is not the thing to be doing. There we go. <laughs> we just had to get to the next day. That was pretty close. We're good though. We've got we held the line and we have two core. Well, kind of, a core and a division approaching. Let's see what we've got then. It seems that Pope fell into our trap. He mobilizes his forces to attack. I'll try and have to keep those damage brigades back a little bit. We spotted large formations of infantry advancing from this direction behind Matthews Hill. There's also enemy activity from the south. This is a solid defensive line, though. Watch your flanks and hold your ground, General. If we lose Stony Ridge before enforcements arrive, our plan will surely fail. Okay, let's hit pause and let's see what we've got. So we we don't have skirmishes out anywhere at the moment. Uh, we have some solid defensive lines. Oh, we've got we've got melee cavalry holding the ford over there. That's not really what we want to hold an edge like that. Uh, the McCrackens are still routing, apparently. They haven't recovered from uh, last night's fight. Is it last night's fight or is it this morning's fight? It's this morning's fight, okay. Well, everyone else is looking, like, fairly solid. We'll just pull that artillery back a little bit because it's a little bit on the front. Uh, I, I think we'll be okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take one unit here and we're going to we're going to line them up at the edge of this wood there's a reserve over there 
We don't have a huge load of reserves over on this side. I don't think I need. I could put skirmishes forward into these, actually. Yeah, let's, let's do that. It will give us some vision. And we can see what the enemy is up to. I think that's a, I think that's a sound plan. And we'll fall back from them, I'm, I'm fairly certain, fairly quickly, but that's good. We just need a... Do we have any more skirmish lines down here? We, we don't down here. That, that's it. Okay, that's good then. So I'm a little bit worried about this flank. I don't like the look of this. I'm going to bring the supplies in a bit more centrally. Oh, we've got some sharpshooters. Ah, no, these guys... These guys could probably do some, some good work somewhere. They might be able to work from the farm. They might work better out at the flank over there. Do you know what? Let, let's let's do that. Let's let's put them on the flank. Oh wait, can I not? Ah, okay, right. That is an issue. That is an issue. This flank is not worth holding then. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to very quickly bring this battery over there, and we're going to get the cavalry over as well because there's this is an impassable river. Yeah, there's, it's okay. That's that's. That's not worth holding at all. So we'll get the cavalry just out anywhere, I think. All right, let's see. We'll go slowly just to just to keep an eye on everything to start with. We have a we have a glaring gap here, don't we? I could do with a brigade in there, I think. Who have we got? I've got a lot of folks to the south down here. Let's take uh, Mater's brigade. Let's let's bring them up and just bring them in here. Perhaps not as far up as that. Uh, keep them in the woods. And then the artillery. The artillery should be well. That should be fairly effective. That's a nice open field of fire down there. All right. Let's speed things up now. The, the important thing here is that this gets away, and the skirmishes going forward to these areas hopefully will enable that. Blythe's rolling thunder. Excellent. We've got some, we've got an all sorts of mix of weapons coming in the second, uh, second core. And the third core is, it's just one division of a right hodgepodge of things I managed to put together. These are howitzers down here. Okay, they're short range. Will we even get attacked down here? I think we've got enough troops down here. I'm going to take Clemens up there as well. I think this is going to be the, the area to worry about. All right, we are we are in position. Let's let's put it on three times speed. We've got a solid skirmish line out front. Something is approaching our left flank. Here we go. Actually, no. Let's let's keep it on three times speed. I don't see anything there. I don't see where the shooting's going on. They're in there. Okay, let's just let's slow this down. Yeah, I, I think... I don't think that's going to achieve much, is it? Okay, we've got our 20... Uh, we've got our big... What are they? Three-inch ordnance. Okay, they're not as big as I thought over there. Uh, I'm thinking of pulling back, because I don't see there's any benefit in holding this. We'll, we'll hold back. We'll try and spot across the middle a little bit. We've got a lot of forces down here. But our, our centre's now looking a lot more secure. I'm going to bring the supplies back near the big batteries. Am I? No, I'll leave them here for now. We've got some melee cavalry, which is just kind of watching this flank. I'm going to put Clemens' brigade in here where it can quickly respond to an attack at the front. Oh, this is not good. Well, we're back behind the defensive lines, which are 100% cover, so... Carolines should get a shot on over there. We've got sharpshooters in the middle. I don't think they need to be there. 
I don't want to move them out. They are in good cover there. I want to get them as far forwards as possible. Slight risk is that if the enemy puts sharpshooters over here, but we'll just have to just... We'll counteract that at the time when we think about it. They seem to want to be across this bit. We've got action going on in the middle. I could have put a thick skirmish line in those woods, but I have learned that in this mod, if you have troops isolated from the main body, they're far more likely to surrender. I think we're, I think we're getting nailed there, aren't we? Yeah, go on, fall back. Fall back. Let's let the enemy come on now. I am going to deploy some skirmishers up to that edge. So that we can, it'll give us vision over there. Uh, the Caroleans are in, they're going to be in much better cover in a minute as I get them into that farmhouse. There we go. The wavering, they're going to fall back. I think the enemy are going to try and, try and advance across there. Okay, now we're seeing the main body of the enemy come on. And I'm thinking I need more troops up there. Do I strip all the reserves? I think I need my general up there, for sure. What's the first Delaware? They're armed with Napoleons. This is where the attack is coming in. I'm going to move them forward. I'm going to move them into this cornfield, and we're going to face this way. If there's a big attack through the middle, let's bring the Lone Star battery up. There's something is starting to approach. Okay. We won't. We'll stay where we are. Caroline's are taking some punishment here. The Ozarks. The Ozarks are going to be fine. Come on, Blythe. This is a big charge coming in. Blythe's rolling thunder. There we go. Wavering routing. <laughs> they didn't make it in. It was a brave attempt, but it wasn't to be. So the McCrackens, I'm going to have them facing that way. I don't know if they'll be able to shoot past the uh, Caroleans. But we've got some skirmishes up here. We're going to keep an eye on things. Okay, Clemens Brigade are coming forward. I don't think the Dodgers are getting involved here. Yikes. Okay, that's that's scary. That is that's kind of scary. We're moving. We're deploying to the cornfield. This is a brutal assault going in here. Porter assault. Yeah, you're not you're not kidding. <laughs> Pope for some reason stalled. He stopped attacking us. He appears to have mobilized for an all-out attack. Oh, this could be really tough. I've got everything down here. Have we even seen any enemies? We've also spotted a large formation, probably Porter's division, making a flanking maneuver towards our right flank. Cavalry was dispatched to cause a delay in action. If Porter succeeds, we'll be in deep trouble. Here's the good news. Our first reinforcements are near and will arrive in about two hours. It's advised to not engage them. Have patience till tomorrow. The Federals will be exhausted and depleted by the continuous fighting, and all of our reinforcements will be present and rested. It's easy enough for them to say, don't use the reinforcements. So the fight continues at Stony Ridge, General. Hold your ground. Alex's men. I am worried about the Carolines up here. Do we have a general coming to take command? Let's put him right in the thick of the fight. Let's, let's put him here. And let's get the supplies up a little bit closer. Right, if there's going to be a problem, it's going to be, I don't know, could it be around about the centre? This doesn't look as, as risky as it was before. 
these artilleries are going to rack up some serious casualties here. Let's keep them supplied. Robinson's men are coming in against the Ozarks. The Ozarks should not be wavering. That's it, they're routing. Can we... Robinson's routing as well. Everyone's routing. Everyone's sodding routing. <laughs> this is madness. Nope. Do we counter charge with the Krakens? Hang on, where's that cavalry gone? We're getting, we're not losing the Caroleans. We are not losing the Caroleans. Form up. Those guys who were wavering, we're going in with the cavalry there. We're getting the Caroleans back. Here they come. Leonidas is going to earn his pay today. And... It's a head on a chart. It's a head on assault against an enemy brigade that's fresh now. We've gone straight through them. Right, bring them back. Just bring them back. Yes! Fall back. <laughs> They're going. There's no stopping them. Get the McCrackens in there. Get the Carolines to fall back. That was well worth it. Thank you, Leonidas. You have saved the day. You have absolutely saved the day. What's happened here? This doesn't look like it's gone as it should do. Right, let's quickly deploy you guys over there. There's nothing coming at the center. There is a fight coming down here. Uh, it looks like a lot of my forces are not allowed to rotate to move. I don't think... Oh, there is, there is a fight coming in here. Uh, the Dodgers. Dodgers have barely touched any. Right, I'm, we're moving forward with this, these skirmishes. Right, you fall back. You fall back, you've done a great job there. On the double. We need to try and drive off some of this bloody stuff. Oh god, we've got another attack coming in here. I think I need to... I think I need to commit. We need something like that on this flank. Or either that, or maybe more likely I need to go in there. Wow, this is, this is racking up some casualties. Right, let's put you behind there. Ready for your next attack. There's a, there's a lot to keep eye on here, okay. Clement's Brigade holding well. They're not wavering. Can we do anything to help them not waver anymore? Halt. No, there isn't really anything we can do. It's just the pressure of being under attack, I think. It's, it's pretty much what it is. Um, I mean, this is how units are overwhelmed now. This was a good idea. This was a very good idea, putting these guys in here. The artillery is going to hit them hard, like real hard. Get them skirmishes dealt with. I can't see. That's a big brigade though, isn't it? We're going in. I need to bring some more troops. There's a gap there. Okay, De Reuters Marines, let's, let's get them in. On the double. 
And I don't know that this artillery is able to do anything that's very effective there. So let's get them up closer. B's battery was kind of holding against an attack here, which now doesn't seem to be materialising. So let's move them up too. I don't want to strip all the artillery because there's definitely, there's definitely activity down here. I'm just going to put Sean's skirmishes on this flank to make sure that we don't get outflanked from this side. We've driven them off, that's excellent. God, the artillery up there. We've got such a hard fight. The supply situation is, is good though. These boys are going back. It's okay, we've got Mates Brigade. The Dodgers helping with their flanking fire. Meanwhile, this artillery is going to come in and make a difference. We've chased another load of guys off. That's excellent. It's okay. They won't stand in front of the artillery. Let's just position the Ozarks over there. They can fire anything. Everything's retreating, so that's that's okay. Let's get them in. We'll get them in. We're just going to rotate everything like this. This is kind of funny. There's another huge assault coming in here. Okay. <laughs> the Ozarks are going to get there just in time to be assaulted by Schimmel Fenix Brigade. But that's okay. We won't get a volley off, will we? We did, we managed to get a few off anyway, that's good, a few shots as our men line the uh, breastworks. Looks like there was an attack coming up the middle, it's okay, we stopped it, so that's good. Let's move the skirmishes forwards. The artillery has definitely arrived on this flank. Oh, do you not? Oh, they do have good range, it's okay, I suddenly I missed the third range band over here. So this side is this is this side is holding well. Uh, this is quite a lackluster attack at the moment, which is fine by me. I'm not going to get drawn away. I'm keeping one unit of reserves down there. This is good. This is good. The McCrackens uh, they're taking a lot of casualties, but they are starting to to pay that back now. Is there anything we can drive off? I don't know where the enemy artillery is. Oh, it's all the way at the back. No, I think I think we need to pound away at the enemy infantry assaults here. They're not going to go in. They're not. They're never going to make it in there. Yeah, this this lot should break. You need a rest. Mater's brigade's looking quite strong there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the Marines over here and Clemens are just going to fall back out the way. There'll be a reserve, I think. Glad I bought those extra supplies. How are the sharpshooters doing? They're picking off a lot of enemy soldiers. They've been very effective. So what, what weapons have we got here? Let's take a look. The McCrackens have got the Mississippi rifle and the Marines have got the Harper's Ferry. They're, they're comparable weapons, so I'm thinking of uh, switching out over here. The Ozarks hold on yet again. This is a brutal assault. It's okay. Everyone's recovering nicely. Let's move forward with the skirmishes. Oh, the artillery's got some stuff to shoot at now. We've got two brigades coming in at this angle. Oh, we've got a big assault coming in. Okay. This, this is going to be something now. Back off a bit. Where's this aiming for? Uh, I have nothing... 
Floridians are running over on the double. So we have a gap over here, but I think we can cover it. I think we can cover it if anything if anything comes through there. In fact, let's just that's gonna be quicker. Right, you guys. You guys are fighting on fighting on hard. I'm gonna fall back. And let's put the Marines in there. Let's have a switch over. Get some fresh troops in. I was going to switch these guys over, but this, this is now looking like there's a full-on assault coming right, right in here. And ammunition is going to be a problem. Could have run them in like that. Right, start picking off Taylor's men. Uh, let's... Clemens, you guys, were, you guys were supposed to be resting up. I'm going to bring you over here. Right, we've got the Marines in. So, the McCrackens, I think... Are they still shooting? They are. I'm going to keep an eye on it. They can... There we go. We're chasing them off. That's good. This is going to be rough. This is going to be good. You need to fall back. Oh my word, this is going to be rough. That's a lot of casualties with an artillery. Thousands? I don't think I've seen them. I don't think I've had a unit do that in this game before. Although, to be honest, in the last playthrough, I didn't fully understand the, the bugs and mechanics around artillery battery sizes. But that's another matter. Okay, this is... Oh, God, they're coming right where the weak spot is. Okay, Sean. Over there. And on the double. There's more of an attack forming down here. It's not... It's nothing to worry about at the moment. We've taken some casualties in the artillery. It's okay, we're good. Where'd the Dodgers get to? Let's put them back in there, in, in the middle. Oh, th this isn't good. Can we not get the Ozarks out of there? Put the Caroleans back in. They're going to meet this monstrous, monstrous assault coming in here. Let's get some artillery on this, please. Okay, let's move forward with the Dodgers a little bit. Okay, the Ozark volunteers have rallied. They're going to stand and add their rifles to the line. This is this is going to be tough, actually. I do not anticipate that this is going to go so well. That's okay. Clement, this, this crisis has abated. The artillery is in a good position. We're just pounding away. Alex's men doing a reasonably good job, but could do with some support. Let's bring Sean's brigade up there. In fact, let's get some skirmishes out. Oh, sk skirmishes are over here, aren't they? Defending the edge of the wood. B's battery. Uh, let's focus all firepower on this lot coming in here. Yeah, I thought that might happen. Right, can you move through the... Actually, can you go at the double and then we will occupy that. Actually, change of plan. We're going to put a new brigade on the front line. Ooh, this is tough. This is, this is very tough. If there's a way of getting the cavalry out to go and then charge down some artillery, I'm going to try and keep an eye open for that. Sean's brigade in position. 
We do have to hold the centre. It's vital that we hold the centre. Let's see. <laughs> this is a killing field. Fall back. And the Kraken's over there. They're doing quite well. They're doing quite well. They've taken a few extra casualties, but they are adding to their kill rate. So many skirmishes over here. Right, is there anything that we can... Let's try and drive some of these pesky skirmishes off. This this fight over the middle here, this, this is looking really rough. I'm just going to put you guys in reserve. The Caribbeans have taken such a beating in this fight. I don't know whether I should advance to try and drive these guys off. My instinct says no, just, just hold on. Okay, let's go back up to two times speed. I didn't realise we were at one time speed. Let's get the battle blown again. It's been a hell of a fight over here. Someone's having a go. Okay, if I turn artillery... Well, if I turn them onto anything, it seems to be quite effective. Let's get you guys forward again. Yeah, they've they've routed instantly. That's good. I'm gonna try and chase some of these more of these skirmishes off because they are driving me crazy. Although I kind of need to be more worried about the big brigades that are coming in. Who's coming in next? Let's take a, let's take a shot at Ferrero's brigade coming in. Fall back, we don't want sharpshooters getting shot. They're doing a great job up there, Mike. It would have been good, I think, maybe to have held this. Because we could have poured some good flanking fire in, but at the same time, it's very risky if they had crossed. They would have driven us off entirely. Not a whole lot going on down here. This is withdrawn. Okay, so this is looking solid again. Let's try drive those off. First Delaware artillery doing some nice work. We'll focus our firepower as much as we can. Who are you shooting at? Colt Brigade. Uh, sure, why not? I'm gonna some skirmishes. Go for the skirmishes, drive them away. Because I feel like skirmishes can do some quite a lot of damage to my main line even though I'm in entrenchments here or behind breastworks anyway well, we drove something off so that was good more skirmishes do we does this look like another attack coming in oh this looks like a heavy wave of attacks coming in here just going to fall back a little bit here with the Floridians. Just try and bring them on. It's where the artillery and everything else can support a bit better, I hope. Fall back. Yeah, bring them into like a, a killing zone. What were we shooting at over here? Well, the attack hasn't materialised any further. Crack at those skirmishes there. This looks like it's forming up for a huge assault right through my centre. And I have nothing behind them to plug that gap. So I think this is where we send Sean. Just to, just to go and hold over here. Behind everything. This, this could be where the attack comes in. This didn't materialise like I thought it would. I was really worried about this down here. Everyone's been doing some good work. There's Bear Bob. Armed with the 1861s. 
good quality leaders down there. Well, we're inflicting the losses, which is excellent. Get rid of these skirmishes. Yeah, that's that's too good an opportunity not to shoot at something big like that, I think. Lone Star Battery, let's focus some firepower over there. I feel like we can actually drive skirmishes off quite well with artillery. Oh, they're in the they're in the water, okay. This was a very desperate fight. This was such a desperate fight that there were some units um, on the Confederate side ran out of ammunition. Oh, this this is this is speaking of which. Let's come back over here. Wow, where did they sneak come sneaking in from? But this was such a such a desperate fight. Some units on the Confederate side ran out of ammunition defending the, their line and resorted to just throwing rocks at the Union soldiers. And there were some very high casualty rates in units on both sides. It was a very dogged and determined fight. And no one wanted to, to give ground or admit defeat. I see the casualties are mounting over here. I'm a little bit concerned, but they are inflicting a lot as well. So now we've driven most of those skirmishes off. You can leave the battlefield. Here comes another charge. I mean, they're going to get in, they're going to waver. This is also quite typical of Civil War battles, where units were charging quite piecemeal, rather than everyone going in all at once. And that was due to uh, command and control factors, orders not reaching in time, confusion, fog of war, smoke on the battlefield. Um, it's very difficult to coordinate big attacks when you're relying on written orders or verbal orders transmitted by a guy and a horse. Okay, so it's time. That's holy crap! Another, another lot charged in and surrendered. I don't want to put the Carolines back on the front line. <laughs> not going to be honest. They're looking kind of weak now. I'm going to have someone there, though. Nothing's developed down here. There's only skirmishes, which have been a real pain. That has been a real pain. Do I have anything I could bring to drive them off? I can bring my sharpshooters, which would make a hell of a difference. I need to get Mater's Brigade back in there at <laughs> the double. We need some help. Um, are you? You guys, Clements, you better be shooting in that direction. It's broken again. Don't route this direction. <laughs> Let's retreat off the map, please. The Marines might uh, give out here as well. Nagel's brigade is coming on even further. No, that's going to stop him right there. Right there. Okay, back up to the front. Yeah, you need to get a bit closer. We need to be able to put flanking fire. Or as effective as we can onto this. I'm going to have three batteries attacking that one there. I don't... Nope, it's okay. Right, you guys can retreat off there. Are they gonna... They are retreating in an odd direction. We're just gonna move them over there. Wow, the Ozark volunteers are absolutely squished flat. Put Clemens' men over here in reserve. You guys can come and take up this position. Each time one of these brigades comes charging back in, it leaves more men. Wow, another surrender. I, I don't think that's a surrender situation. I mean, if they, they've charged into the uh, 
crest works then yes I could see them surrendering but uh, they they would have just run back mind you that is a killing field I guess we'll just have to accept that it's it's representative of taking prisoners in general there's another charge coming in here holy crap we are holding this this line by the skin of our teeth That is a lot of artillery over there. And I suspect not a lot of infantry backing it up. It's time for the cavalry to come good. It'll be very difficult to get an effective charge in. I'm going to need some skirmishes to help. Hold on a minute. Right. Sean's skirmishes are going to go... It's time to come out here, actually, and go and get involved. Look what I've just seen turning up. Oh, the cavalry. Wow, now this, this could be fun. Right, let's take this position here. Uh, I want the cavalry. We've got 40 minutes. We're going to go around the back, and we're going to cause some absolute mayhem with this. I know it said, oh, don't attack. Hold off for day two, but screw that. We've got some... Or some awesome fun we can have with this. Let's see if we can get these guys into position. But at the same time, let's draw us a line across like that. And let's get some skirmishes out. And go and shoot things up. The Welsh Fusiliers. This one, this is going to be awesome. I didn't see a notice pop up for these. I'm sure there was, there will have been one, but I didn't see anything. Right. Okay. Are we still? Major's brigade is going back now. Very tired. There's another load of <laughs> surrendering Federals. I think they probably surrender a bit too easily, to be quite honest. So what we want to do here is grab supplies. Oh, we've got sharpshooters as well. Excellent. Go up there. And we've got level two. And we've got fresh supplies. This is going to be great. Um, did I not order you in? Right. Into the town. We want to see what's going on. Uh, we'll, there's a skirmish cavalry. The first heart savers. Holy shit! <laughs> right. Retreat, I think. Yeah, ret retreat that. I'm not fighting all that lot. That was not part of the plan. I still might be able to get the sabers in, though. Yeah, that, that wasn't part of the plan right there. However, we do want this stuff. So you guys just form a bit of a defensive line over there. Hide in the woods. We'll see what comes. We're going to try and get... We're going to get this artillery. I'm determined. And at this point... That is a, that is a brigade down there. Okay. Straight across that river. We're going to go charging in there, aren't we? Yep, order the charge. They should be able to make contact. We'll sabre that battery. Hope there's no artillery brigade hiding in there. Right, you guys should be now leaving the battlefield. Just, I, need, I just need a moment here. Just have a look what's going on. Try and route these off. Which direction do they run in? No, they're, they're running somewhere strange. Okay, we'll not worry about routing them off. Let's make sure my cavalry is... Cavalry's fine. Excellent. First heart sabers are in. Armed with their 1860 Colt army. And saber this time.
Right, those are trying to get away. I, it's my intention not to let them. This was a big artillery battery, actually. I need to watch out for this coming through the, the town. We've got him. Excellent. Can I, can I grab that? See if I can grab these supplies. Hmm, there's a whole load of stuff coming down there, which isn't good. We'll grab the supplies. I think we've got them. And we're going to go for that. And the supplies are just going to retreat over here. Yeah, they're wavering. I think I think the cavalry will be okay. In they go. So we've caught the enemy quite off guard down here, which is which is excellent. And that lot is destroyed. Okay, brilliant. Bring them back. Screw that actually. Not don't bring them back. We're we're going over here. But we need vision now. So what we need more than anything is... Oh, the skirmishes over there. There's a lot of skirmishes over there. Oh, we can't occupy that. I don't think we can safely charge this. That's a brigade. That's more supplies. Let's, let's pull back. Let's get some skirmishes over there, though. If we can. Uh, there's something. There's something going on. I'm gonna. We're gonna have to be careful here. I'll uh, detach them from the rest of the cavalry. We could try and charge across the middle. And take out the enemy artillery. God, the, the chaos over here is just awful. What can we shoot at? What do we need to drive off now? I'm gonna try and put some firepower onto that. The casualties from this artillery is just immense. Okay, we'll aim at something that's uh, in effective range. I think we may be running out of supplies. I don't know if we'll be able to get at any of this. I, I could. I don't think I'll be able to bring the cavalry up in time either. As much as I would like to. We've got three cavalry brigades down here. And they'd have to come up through the middle and charge out. And who knows? Do you know what? They're not doing anything else. Let's do it. I mean, I've effectively got five... Yeah, five cavalry brigades. Let's bring Leonidas over. It would be a desperate charge through the middle, and it's not really how I should be using these, these horsemen, but... It would work if I can get them there in time. Right, let's put some skirmishes out front. I see we're going to have a fight over here. Let's go and get onto, onto that. Right, our horsemen are moving up. They might get there in time. I'm not going to do a desperate uh, charge right through the centre. I think that would be fatal. Right, let's engage with these two to start with. And then these are armed with... Oh, no, these are armed with the 1856. Okay, these are excellent. These are uh, a, a good unit of skirmishers. Let's get them in. Who's this over here? Oh, those boys were trying to ride Grout off the field, weren't they? God, there's, typically there's um, enemy infantry turned up over here where I don't want it. Do I want to do this? Where's the rest of the uh, cavalry? Yeah, we, we've got time. I'm going to send them all in. Now this might be a Battle of Waterloo moment with Ney's cavalry and the French cavalry totally getting cocked up. And charging squares of infantry. But let's see. Let's see how this is going to go. So for all the melee... Uh, sorry, the carbine cavalry isn't perfect for um, doing melee charges. They can still win versus um, 
artillery so it's more of an attack coming in down here though Alex's men seem to somehow be in range so that's okay I've got seven minutes to pull this off right then we're going for it I know the rest aren't here yet but we're going for it Here we go, six minutes to go. Speeding that time up. Leonidas goes first. First heart sabers go second. In they go. Everything else is on the other one over there. Uh, this could this could be very effective. There's an artillery battery there in the woods as well, oh my god. Charge them down. I need someone onto this one, by the way. Uh, this looks like it's worked really, really well. Proceed to the next day. Wow, okay. So that's going to reset the lines. That was an amazing cavalry charge at the, uh, the end of day one there. I was super impressed by that.